Are you thinking about getting an air conditioner rather than an air cooler to beat this heat of the summer? But due to the high cost of AC and the electricity bill, you are now confused whether you should go for AC or a cooler instead. If this is so, you are at the right place to watch this entire video and don't forget to subscribe my channel Civil Engineering Forum. Here we'll discuss 8 different parameters to compare between the both and at last a concluding remark has been added based on which you can take your decision. Now without wasting your time, we would quickly start with our first parameter that is cost. An air cooler starts with rupees 3000 per unit while an air conditioner starts at rupees 25000 per unit. If you are looking at the price tag alone, you will realize that air conditioners are expensive. We would say go for a cooler if you have got a tight budget. But here we have a lot more things to compare and based on the concluding remark will be the best thing you should take your decision. Then second parameter is portability. Air coolers are portable and can be moved from one place to another by simply plugging and unplugging the device. Air conditioners when fixed cannot be moved and aren't a portable device. Then our third parameter is power consumption. Air conditioners use a lot of electricity which means your electricity bill will be higher. However, with air coolers, you can cut down the cost by up to 80%. So we can say that power consumption in an AC is much much higher. Then fourth is functioning. An evaporative cooler and an air conditioner have differences in the way they work. Air coolers take in hot water, pass it through wet absorbent pads and cool the air. You have to fill them up to the capacity with water to be able to use them. On the other hand, Air conditioners use a chemical coolant to condition the air and alter its temperature. Unlike an air cooler, which simply cools the air to a certain degree, air conditioners make the air condition more favorable by providing facilities for customization of temperature and humidity. Then fifth parameter here is comfort. In an air conditioner, chilled air circulated in the room will create very comfortable environment around to live in peacefully. But talking about coolers, due to the moist air, sometimes it becomes uncomfortable to stay in the room for a longer time. Then sixth parameter is suitable climate. Air coolers don't really work well in humid climates because that's just how they are designed. Air conditioners are a different story altogether. They are quite favorable in humid conditions and the best part is that you can even heat up the rooms during winters since sometimes heating is included in their functionality and design. Then seventh parameter here is environmental effect. Air coolers cool the air by passing hot air through them. But air conditioner models use CFLs for the coolant which is harmful to the environment. The hot air pumped out by the compressor gets released outdoors and the cool air comes internally from the unit into the room. This makes air conditioners a lot less eco-friendly than their cooler counterparts. Then eighth and the last parameter here is health effects. Stagnant water in air cooler if not changed might give rise to mosquitoes containing dengue or malaria. This becomes very dangerous for our health. Continuously staying in AC might decrease our immunity. This is because our body will not sweat when we are in and will release all the sweat when we go out of the AC. Then if AC is not cleaned regularly, it can become a severe problem that contributes to respiratory ailments in people. This can be very dangerous for asthma patients. One other problem faced by AC users is weight gain. This is because working full day in AC will decrease our metabolism. This is because of no sweating. Our fat is not burned. While talking about cooler, there is no any undesirable effect on our health. But people go for AC because a cooler increases the humidity level inside our room, which makes it uncomfortable for users to stay here for a longer time. Then at last I have added a concluding remark based on which you can take your decision whether you should go for AC or a cooler. Should prefer cooler only if you stay in a dry climatic area and your budget is low. Else should go for air conditioners but make sure to have a limited use. So friends I hope this video was useful for you. If this is so just click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel Civil Engineering Forum. This is all for today. Thank you for watching.